Kombangwa Minasan Kronego Des. Okay, I am going to talk about Pamela, and then she is a free creator. You can actually hunt her shards at the event archive. Yeah, so basically, you can easily fully max her anytime you want, as long as you get her job token and job equipment, and that's it. And then about her role, she is a very good support unit even before the job blast. Yeah, especially on magic attacker. But right now, she is very good to team with almost everyone. But it will even better if you team her with fire units, or even better, fire loose bird unit. Yeah. And next is about her Kaigan Leso. Okay. This support status resistance is very good. And then also with healing power and last status. And wind resistance. Yeah, not strong versus a wind. Wind resistance. Yeah. And next is about her Shindi no Keifu. Overall, it's very good for Emma and Noah. But then for Pamela, she does not really need the attack status. Like for example, magic attack, strong versus a wind. Or even a red attack. But M attack status is still okay. This, you can actually use her bishop to recover your allies. Yeah, that one is relies on her M attack. And then the other status is also very good for her. And about her Coco In or Rune set, I think just increase her HP will be good enough. Yeah, seriously. And then anything else, up to you. And then maybe healing power. Uh, guards, uh, Master Jewel. Yeah, up to you. And then with the last status. And any resistance. And next is about her Phantom Memory. Well, just equipped with any resistance set bonus and increase HP, Magic Attack, or Luck status. Yeah, up to you. And this will be her other status. Her healing power is more than 100. Yeah, very nice. And you again. And then anything. Resistant. And then wind resistant. And status resistant. And her stone resistant, silent resistant, and this resistant, not bad. And then stop resistant, also not so bad. And debuff reduction. Okay, next is about her normal attack. Okay, nothing special. And the damage is only this much. Yeah. So basically, the main purpose is only recover jewel. And next is about her main ability. And for this skill, there isn't any changes. And it will increase healing power. So basically, her healing power will be even higher. And this will be the healing power buff panel. Yeah, 3 times 3. Not so bad. And for this second skill, it will greatly increase your allies. Maximum HP and magic attack, large status, but at the same time, it will greatly reduce her M attack, magic attack. Yeah, so beware. And when you master her fifth gate, the overall buff increase and also increase another one more turn instead of three turns become four turns and instead of four turns become five turns. Yeah, quite good. And it is instant cast. Yeah, so this skill is very good for any magic attacker. Just like before the job plus. And for this third skill, there isn't any changes as well. And it will increase strong versus the wind for all fire elemental attack skill. Yeah, so this is not so bad, but there is a cast time, so beware. And for this fourth skill, also doesn't have any changes. And it is area fire slash magic attack. Yeah, that's all. And this will even target your ally, so beware. And the damage is... Okay, it's only about 2.7k. Yeah, nothing special. And 4.2k. Yeah, so basically in short, please turn off this skill if you are using auto. Yeah, waste of jewel. And next is about this skill. It will increase your allies, maximum HP, and all parameter status for traitors. Yeah, so I think this is the same as before the job blast. And also, if your allies is from Lucebird, fire units, they will have 
drug class status. Yeah, this is not so bad. But then, fire plus Lucebird is not a lot. I only can think of Emma and Noah. Yeah, so basically, this skill main purpose is all parameter buff. And good thing is, instant cast. Yeah, without cast type. This is very good. So you can actually use this skill in any quest, include boss battle, extra battle. Yeah, especially auto. But the jewel cost is 120. Yeah, just as before, so beware. And next is about this skill, which is newly added after the job plus yeah and it will increase your allies speed and magic attack and this skill will automatically animate and if your ally is either noah or emma they will have some skill changes on this tool and then it will animate additional one more skill attack along with no skill usage no cast time and then for this skill, all of your fire units will have all attack up until they use any one attack. And only applies to loose bird plus fire unit, they will have fewer regen for fighters. Yeah, this is also very good. And then with all best status resistance ready up. Yeah, so that at least they will not so easily to get the best status. Yeah, so basically this skill is very good for any fire magic attacker. Yeah, because it increases all attack and magic attack, these two. Other than the special case, yeah. Okay, the shooting range is 3 and the radius is diamond. Yeah, it's considered pretty good. Okay, this will be the new skill changes for Noah. And then, as you can see, there isn't any skill usage and no cast time. Yeah, very nice, but the skill power everything is still the same. Except that it will animate this skill after when she used this skill. And this skill is almost the same as this skill. Yeah, except that it doesn't have any strong versus a win. Yeah, other than that, it's totally the same. And then the damage roughly is about this high. Yeah. Yeah, something like this. And this will be the new skill changes for Emma. Yeah, as you can see, no skill usage. But this skill originally don't have cast time. Yeah, so basically it's only free usage. And same goes to Noah. This skill attack everything is still the same. Except that this skill is depending on the luck status. Yeah. So basically, if her luck status is high, this skill damage also increases. But of course, don't have the additional effects. Yeah, only depending on the last status. And the damage is something like this. And then... Okay, not bad actually. And next is about basic or sub ability. And for this first skill, there isn't any changes as well. And it is an attack plus death sentence. Yeah, very simple. But then, the shooting range is only just one, so beware. Not so easy to use. And the damage is only about this high. Yeah, I think about the same as normal attack. So, main purpose is only death and dust. And for this second skill, she can use on any ally other than herself, PT up, and if the target is from loose bird, fire unit, your ally will have evasion grady up, until they evade any one attack. Yeah, I think it increased about 100. Yeah, very high, very good. Yeah, so I think this is only very good for the loose bird fire units. Yeah, if not, it's only increased CT. Yeah, nothing special. And then for third skill, also nothing special. Increased physical attack for traitors, the end. And then for last skill, it will reduce the target healing power 50%. Yeah, not so bad. But, and not be unit lock. And it will also target your allies at the same time. Yeah, so this is also not so easy to use. And the damage is only about this high. Yeah, nothing special. So I think the main purpose is only reduce the healing power. Yeah, that's all. And then you can switch this side ability 
with Bishop. Yeah, because as I said earlier, her healing power is super high. Yeah, so most likely she can easily recover high HP on your allies. Yeah, and then with HP regen and recover any best status, and then HP regen and recover academy fist. Yeah, I think this Bishop side ability might be better than her job plus side ability. Yeah, from my view, from my point. Okay, next is about her laser skill. And any ally other than herself will have Python Jewel Regen. And along with this luck plus 300. And then it will also permanent transfer her luck status to the ally. Yeah, so basically this skill is very good for Emma or uh, Debiner or maybe Yomi. But then you also can use on other allies just for the dual regen. Yeah. And for this one, there isn't any changes after the job blast, and it will only activate if the element is using any physical damage. And your allies within her will have physical defense up for 3 turns and can be stacked for 3 times. Yeah, not so bad, especially it will activate before the enemies attack. But then it is not 100% activation, so beware. And the radius is diamond 2 within herself. And there isn't any range limit. Yeah, so even if the enemies is using any long range attack, it will still activate. And for this one, it's newly added after the job blast. And it will activate from any types of damage. And then this is only very good for any fire units. Yeah, fire units only, so beware. And it will increase their maximum HP and speed and reduce their cast time. Yeah, so this buff is very good for anyone that has the cast time. And there isn't any range limit as well. Yeah, quite good. And the radius is diamond within herself. And this is also newly added after the job blast. But this is not so easy to use because it only applies to loose boot fire units. So basically it's only Emma, Noah and so and so. Yeah, not much. And they will have area attack resistance graded up and speed up and it is buff panel. And it will disappear for a short period of time. Yeah, so this is also very good, especially buff panel cannot be removed or buff notify. Yeah, trust me, cannot remove. Except that if the enemy is using any skill that overrides the buff panel with the buff panel or what, it will override the panel and then the buff panel will be gone. Yeah, so that is the only way to remove the buff panel. Yeah, so this is actually very good. But then if the opponent is using any single attack, of course, it'll be useless. Yeah, this is only area attack. And next is about her support ability. And this passive is after when you master her second gate. I think it added extra skill usage plus one. And along with healing power and this status resistance gradient. up. Yeah, so basically this passive is very good. Just equip this one. And next is about this passive. Basically, this is exactly the same as the Rash ability. Yeah, except that it will animate from the start of the map. Yeah, so this is only very good for PvP and Arena. Yeah, usual thing. And if you decide to use her on the normal quest, you can actually switch this with, like for example, this one, HP Regen. Yeah, not bad. Or uh, maybe with this passive, it will increase your ally and herself healing power when they are beside each other. Yeah, better than nothing. Or uh, maybe this one. With the death sentence immune and maximum HP increase. Yeah. Or uh, maybe this one. With the gut status. And then with the chain combination plus one. Yeah, so basically you can switch around with her passive. Up to you. Okay, next is about her mementos. And this is limited, so beware. And then for this leader skill, it will increase luck and magic attack and speed. Yeah, so this is only very good for those creators that is depending on the last status. Like for example, Emma or all Debiner. And then any magic attacker. 
And for this group skill, if you max break this Mementos, it added extra move plus one. Yeah, this is not bad. But then I think the main thing is speed and jewel cost down. Yeah, these two, very nice. And then along with the silent resistance. Yeah, quite good. And next is about the Bejeer ability. She will have this special status for 3 turns. But then she cannot use any skill, main skill, sub skill, master ability. All cannot be used. And her movement will reduce to zero, cannot move. And then with all defense, all best status resistance ready up and speed up. Yeah. As well as her normal attack will have a new changes. It will increase magic attack and reduce cast time for one turn. And then increase all elemental resistance and speed for two turns. And can be stacked two times. Yeah, this is very powerful because it is whole map buff. But then this buff is only applies to those bird fire units. And if you max break this metals, it will greatly increase the magic attack. So basically more damage. And then for the sub metals, I recommended you guys equip with other metals, like for example Labina. It increases the speed. And then with magic defense. Yeah, not this metals. Because I know this metals is very good for her, but this good skill. It's only very good if Emma or Noah equip it. Yeah, not Pamela. So in order to have this maximum effect, you need to really team with Emma or Noah so that she will have the jump plus one and HP up and buff them plus one. Yeah, this is really very good for her. So that some of the skill instead of one turn become two turns or three turns. And then the maximum HP for five turns buff become six turns. Try to team with Emma or Noah with her to have maximum effect. And this accessory is from her limited mementos. And it greatly increase magic attack and luck. Yeah, these two status. And along with shooting resistance plus 20. Very good. Area attack resistance plus 20. Also not bad. But this accessory can be only equipped by Emma, Noah, and Pamela. This Three creator only. Yeah, not even Lolly Urbros. So beware. And as you can see, there is three weapon ability. Yeah, one is for Pamela, this one is for Emma, and this one is for Noah. Yeah, so this accessory is really very good, super good for these three of them. And for this weapon ability is it will increase your allies' accuracy for three turns. Okay. And if the target is to spurt fire unit again, and then with drug cut status, they will have strong drug cut status. Yeah, basically it's much more faster than normal drug cut. And with move plus one. But then I am not really that sure she will be using this skill if I use the auto or not. Yeah, no idea. And next is about this weapon ability for Emma. She will activate weather effects. Oh my god. Weather effects. And then all of the loose bird fire units again will have all attack ready up plus poison and sleep status attack and luck plus 600. Yeah, so basically this is very good for Emma because of the luck status. But of course, it's also very good for Mera and Noah and Eve. Yeah, because all attack and with the status. Lastly is this weapon ability for Noah. She will force target promote all enemies within the map for 3 turns. Okay. And she herself will have strong HP regen. And along with tears, shooting, magic, PT down, stock status, resistance gradient. Yeah, so this is actually very good because the buff cannot be removed no matter what. Unless the opponent has the ability to remove the HP regen or HP regen notify, or maybe you need to use something that reduces the resistance. Or maybe you can use Kalune to penetrate the shooting resistance. Yeah, that is the one of the few ways. Yeah, Kalune will reduce the shooting resistance to zero. And one more thing about this skill, 
I am not really that sure she will be even using this skill in auto. But maybe this skill is quite good for Battlefield. If you guys know what am I talking about, yeah. And of course, if you guys don't have her mementos, you can actually just equip with this one from Emma Mementos. Yeah, because it also increased the luck status and then with other status. And with the web ability, will greatly increase her pierce and jump resistance for 3 turns. Yeah, or anything, up to you. And this weapon is from the gear summon. And it will increase her maximum jewel, magic attack, and healing power. Yeah, but then this magic attack will be useless if you equip with this one. Yeah, but then it will increase the healing power. It's very good for her. As well as you can use this weapon ability. He will increase your allies, dash attack, and magic attack for 3 turns. Yeah, not so bad overall. Or anything that is increase her healing power, like for example, like this accessory also increase healing power and with the luck. Yeah, or maybe with this accessory is also not bad. This you can get from the gear summon also increase healing power and along with the defense and silent resistance. And then she will have the slash and magic resistance for 3 turns from the start of the map. Yeah, not really that bad. And this armor you only can get from Emma limited mementos. Yeah, so beware. And it will greatly increase her HP and with the speed, silent resistance and strong bursts of new year. But this is totally useless on her. Yeah, just ignore this one. Yeah, so basically it's only this, this and this. Uh, maybe like for example, you also can equip with this armor and it is totally free from event. And she can use this weapon ability as well. You will reduce all fire units, dual cost. Yeah, skill dual cost. Not bad for one turn. And maybe this one or this one or this one. Uh, maybe this one with the gut status. Really up to you. Yeah, or uh, maybe this. Yeah, all of this armor is totally free from the Tokyo Revenger. Yeah. So, conclusion is this. Thank you for watching this video. See ya, Sonora. <laughs>